of you have wanted to take a Facebook Live where you talk for like 45 minutes and distill it down, grab the most important two, three, four minute segment so that your audience gets the most oomph and the most, the biggest nuggets from your Facebook Live without having to listen to the entire thing. If that's something that you've wanted to do before, hang on tight, because we're about to show you how a new tool that Facebook just opened will allow you to chop up your video, make it into video clips, which then allow you to um, post the content a second time over Facebook Watch. Hang on tight, as we're about to show you how. We're growing our audiences and growing our businesses. Super, super glad to have you with me. We're about to show you how you can create video clips. To do that, you're going to want to go into your page. So this is my page right here. I'm gonna go into my Creator Studio. From Creator Studio, I want to get one of my live videos. So I'm gonna go into my content library right here and go to post type of video. And when I've got video, I wanna go oops, live video. So I just selected post type live. I'm gonna connect, pick a video that we're now going to chop up into lots of little bits for um, this demonstration. You're gonna go into your post, edit your post, and we're literally going to chop these videos up and uh, make them into shorter ones. Hang on tight, we're gonna go right here to video clipping this tool and watch along as we clip these videos and make multiple pieces of content with a single live video. Here it is. So I want to clip this video and make it shorter. So let's go in here. I'm gonna pull it to right about here. I'm talking about some of the changes that Facebook made. Fast as I can, go over it. Okay, we're gonna chop it up at 36, so. Right, let's do 35 and we'll chop it off at... World running. So... Okay, I'm gonna chop it right here. I'm gonna chop it at the two mark. So, O, O, two, that's it. Guys, I'm gonna chop it right there, add that clip, and this is teaser for Zuckerberg. So you can see in this scrubber, I picked a spot to start and I picked a spot to stop in my video clip. Now all I have to do is hit save and then hit save again and my video clip is saved and it's ready for people to watch inside of my watch channel. These go out in the news feed, but they're not in the feed of your page at this time. So I can't go to my page and see them. So here, let's go and see. I'm pulling up my page right now. This is the Moolah Marketer page. Here it is. You can't see the videos on the actual page here. See how we're not seeing the video that I just made in the feed on my page. However, you do see it inside the videos that are posted. So I can go into my videos, and you can see here, here are the test clips that I've just made. Here's how to create a physical product from a digital product, a test clip, um, making my kids work for me. This video is chopped up from a bigger lesson. You can see how I've been chopping them up, making them, but they're not actually going out into the on my Facebook page until I then go and publish them onto my page. So let me show you where that is. So let's go back into our page here and I'm gonna see my notifications. There it is guys, a clip was successfully generated and it popped up again. I can go into my watch, there it is. You can see the exact clip that we just created right here. It's playing right here inside of my watch. Now, you're probably wondering, where is this? Okay, this is watch on Facebook. You can see it on your page. And I can pull up my watch of my Moolah Marketer page. So once I go into Facebook Watch, so it's facebook.com backslash watch, I can then pull up my page or anything that I'm following, and then it's there, and you can see the latest videos that you chop up inside the watch. So this tells me that watch is something that Facebook will be emphasizing as pages continue to grow, and um, 
It's a lot of fun. You can share these into groups. You can share them onto profiles. You can still use this content. Hopefully we'll even be able to share them onto the page. Haven't tested it yet, but when I do, I will let you know. So glad that you were on with me. If you like this um, update, we discovered a new tool that Facebook has. If you like this new update, please subscribe. Let us know. Follow us. Let us know. Leave comments. Let us know that you want more updates of the features that we're discovering on Facebook. Hope you're having a terrific day. Bye.